the impression was really different. It was like something I'd never been around. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it was a roller coaster for me. I used to go home mad. I had my uncle living with me. And I used to go home mad, bro, just from not understanding. Like, where we come from, you won't understand what they're putting you through. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't understand nothing. Like, like they'll throw me in the fire, then they'll make me, uh, they're like, you're not, I'll come to the arena, they're like, you're not dressing up today. I don't even got a sports jacket. They trying to give me a big ass sports jacket. Like, now nah, you could wear Pau Gasol sports jacket. Then. <laughs> like, so for me, I'm like, there's a lot being thrown at me, bro. And I'm like, man, I don't like this, bro. Then I'm going home. I'm telling Unc, like, Unc's older. He's just enjoying it. Like, he having fun. You know, his nephew made it. And he out there with me. I'm going home like, man, I'm busting Tony's ass in practice. I'm busting Patty Mills' ass in practice. I'm locking them up. You get what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, like, look, give me five minutes. Give me seven minutes. Like, then they send me to the G League. Then as time start going, bro, like, they bring in a point guard from Argentina that's mm -hmm. close with Manu playing in front of me. And my, I'm, beside, I'm behind Tony, Patty, but they playing these mind games. They trying to see if they could break me. Not knowing you can't break They want me. you to break yourself. They want you to break yeah. yourself. You know what I'm saying? And they doing that though. I'm at home tripping. I'm, I'm punched holes. I'm, you know what I mean? I'm rah rah with my uncle. Just venting, you know? But a lot of just more start, they playing other guys that was second round picks, undrafted in front of me. Now I'm just like, bro, what's going on? Right, I'm bro. hitting rich. I'm hitting rich. I'm like, bro, I gotta get traded. He like, nigga, you ain't got no value. <laughs> you feel me? I'm like, man, bro, this is too much, bro. I'm like, what did they put me through, bro? I don't understand. Mm -hmm. I start hearing your name. Steve Jack went through a lot of BS. Obviously, we know you. I know you cold, so you ain't got to tell me you cold. <laughs> Come on, bro. And it's like a lot of people, like I start get, building relationships. Like, you know, my barber from there. We mm -hmm. seven. Man, he know. He know he everything know. I went through. Cause I he, used to go in that same shop. You feel what I'm saying? And bent to them. And that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so like, I start building relationships with, you know, people from there. Not mm -hmm. a lot. Like mm -hmm. he really don't. The solid work. ones. Like, you know, and he's solid, you know, and, and brought him along with me today. Mm -hmm. Cause he's solid. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But like, even him, like he brought up you. He like, man, Steve Jackson, you remind me of Steven Jackson, his uncle, all of them. They like, you remind me of Steve Jack. Like he was going through the same, you know, mm -hmm. venting, mad, da, 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 da. And now it's like, People don't realize, bro, I went through so much there, like, I was there six years. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it don't seem like he was there that long either. It doesn't. But it's like, I feel like, really like, and they know I feel this way. I feel like they really like, they drafted me, but they feel like the stuff that was going around the air of me coming from the hood and da 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 da, that I was going to make it and Entourage, 30 people, yeah. smoking, drinking, in articles about fighting, just ruining their reputation of what they stand for as a Spurs. You know, I think that's what they thought, but they never said that. You know what I mean? Just from the stuff I had to go through. Like, and when they seen like he need a chance and this motherfucker be in the gym, like they start having to kick me out the gym. Like when they said you got access 24 hours every day. Knowing I wasn't playing, so I'm like, um, lace them up. Like, we to the gym. Gym, you know what I mean? That was just every day. And obviously, I start growing. First year go by, you know, thrown in the fire in the playoffs versus the Rockets. Then my second year, they see I come back. Obviously, getting stronger, getting better. And then that was the year I took the job from Tony. Mm -hmm. Pop about us in the office. You know what I mean? He told Tony, Tony ain't like it. I know he ain't like it. You know he ain't like it. You know what I'm saying? That's like, for boy. me, I love real. Like, keep it a buck with me. Yeah. Like, keep it a hundred, bro. I'm going a, I'm to a love you for that. You know what I mean? And I know he didn't like it. You feel me? Because if he liked it, he would have mentored me the way he should have. Mm -hmm. Right. He wouldn't have went to Charlotte. He would have stayed right there. You feel what I'm saying? And that's me. Wow. You're going to get the real. Just how y'all, all the smoke, y'all, 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 <laughs> the real. You feel me? But see, it's, it's, it's not funny he say that, bro, because I know the type of person Tony is. You know what I'm saying? Great player. Gonna go down the Hall of Fame, but he's very selfish. He's been selfish. We would have had more championships and more success if it wasn't for him being so selfish. But he was told as a 16, 17 year old in France that he was this. He come to the NBA, start as a as a 19 year old, and you know what I'm saying? But 
he had a rude awakening mm -hmm. because once we got to the playoffs, it was Stephon Marbury, it was Jason Kidd. He couldn't handle them, so we had to pay Speedy Claxton. So I know the real Tony. You know what I'm saying? He can fool everybody else, but he is one of the most selfish players I've ever played with. And I'm just, that ain't got nothing to do with what he's saying. This is what I'm saying. He is one of the most selfish players I've ever played with, bro, because it's all about him. And I don't know how he made it in that system so long. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a system for everybody. That, that, they, they, want, they want everybody to shine. Yeah, it's everybody right, to shine. shine but yeah. at the same time, I don't know how Their he way. made it that long because Ginobili was totally different. As far as a teammate, that's definitely one of the best teammates I've I love ever Manu. had in my life. I love Manu. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, to piggy out for my second year of taking that job, Pop told us. So now it's like, I see everything. I observe, I watch everything. Like even now, like, I watch. There would be, I'll watch a game, and I won't even look at the made dunk, the made three. I look at the bench to see who's clapping or who's mm -hmm. sitting there looking mad. Like, that's the type of stuff I look at, because I want to see, like, you a team guy, you want they the best for the next like guy. Jamal saying that. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, for real, bro. Like, so it's like my second year, now I'm doing this. I make all defensive team, youngest since Kobe. Rest in peace to Kobe. Mm -hmm. uh, now it's like, yeah, it's on and popping. So now I'm like, I got a taste of it. Like, now I'm starting. Mm. I get to go into the summer healthy. I know I'm coming back starting. Ain't looking over your shoulder. Ain't looking over my shoulder. Yeah. So now I'm about to go to year three. <laughs> I get hurt, come back, get hurt preseason. And that was the year, like, every scout, every coach. Mm -hmm. That was the year we got, well, that was the year we got DeMar. Mm -hmm. We had DeMar. They'll all tell you who looked like the best player, mm -hmm. training camp. I came back with, like, yeah. With a vengeance. Yeah. Um, I ain't here to step on no toes, none of that, but. I'm here to be me. I'm here to be me. 